late 1980s, policymakers in both Hawaii and Washington started conversations about making Hawaii a center of biotechnology research. They don't grow food in these fields, they experiment with seeds and pesticides. We have the highest number of open air field test sites of anywhere in the nation. Chemical companies are experimenting in Hawaii using pesticides that are banned in Europe. The federal government has granted Syngenta and Pioneer the right to test pesticides here on this island. They're exercising this corporate profit over the welfare of the people. Feeding the world was always a greenwashing of a technology whose aim was to sell more chemicals. Multinational seed producers use the county to research and develop new seed varieties. Basically they're contaminating the land and they're going to contaminate the water and it's just not sustainable. They're just dumping copious amounts of poisons and chemicals next to our schools, streams, you know, all these waterways. Nobody knows what these chemicals will do to humans. They've never been tested. Nobody has ever proven them safe. Experimentation without informed consent is a high level taboo. This is a huge guinea pig experiment and it's clearly a violation of the Nuremberg Code. We live in a world today where there's absolute conflict of interest between government and the corporations and that conflict is never disclosed. Any technology which needs secrecy and hiding has already proven there's something wrong. People my age are really starting to stand up and they've done their homework. You would think from looking at these rebuttals that this was an isolated local group of activists creating problems. But the real truth is this debate about environmental toxins in general and pesticides specifically is raging around the world. It has been people's movements that have always changed the world. It hasn't been the Democratic Party, the Republican Party, or the Labor Party. It's been people recognizing that they are the ones who change the world.